The biggest challenge with cold cases is finding out who people really were back then. James Cormack uh, is a detective from Brisbane and he has an assignment in Ashford, a small town in Queensland, uh, where a girl was murdered, Isabel Baker. And he has a, a lot of trouble getting in, gaining the trust of the um, local community. Big hero from Brisbane. You know who might have done it? Cormack is very charismatic, it's fun, but he can be uh, very intense. He's got a lot of anger issues and a lot of childhood issues, and hopefully he's a very deep character. They say that darkness gives birth to monsters. Turn on the light, and they're gone. Cormac's um, approach to policing is a little unique, I think. He's a cold case detective, and uh, because all the cases are obviously um, from the past, it's very difficult to get the truth out of people. So. Um, one of his main objectives is to make people trust them. And in some situations, obviously, people are very pained and um, it's hard to get them to open up when all Cormac is trying to do is to help them. A lot of time has passed. People's memories, they fade. But this, Isabel, she won't lie. The Isabel Baker case comes to Cormac and he notices that um, she went missing exactly the same date that his brother went missing. So it becomes very personal. He just has to find, find the killer, you know, and hopefully it gives him some kind of resolution for himself. You felt pain like ours. When Cormac first comes into the community, he finds it very difficult to gain everybody's trust. You know, he's an outsider in a, in a world that he knows nothing about. And um, throughout the series, he slowly get, gains people's trust and, um, and people open up to him, which help him solve the case. Cormac uh, meets Hazel, the sister of Isabel, who was murdered, and he feels that she's, uh, he's in to the local community, and um, they start working together, and slowly he gains her trust and vice versa. She's uh, integral to solving the case. No one is going to talk to you unless they trust you. They'll oh, trust me. If you trust me. Throughout the series, um, everybody faces a bit of danger because there's obviously a killer in town who's still around and um, there's always that fear that uh, he'll do anything to cover up the crime. Someone we trust took her from us. This was not a crime of opportunity. It's personal. 